now available as paperback and e-reader from the author of Spinsterella, a strange and unusual romance and spellbound as dark a shade of black comes from the legendary bag of gold. And you get the conclusion of the Spinsterella trilogy in paperback and e-readers at online booksellers today. Recently, one of my viewers asked me what the difference is between telling and showing in storytelling. And in this video, I'm going to try to explain the difference between telling and showing in storytelling. Now, when a person tells a story, it's not something that actively engages the reader. It's not something that actively gets their attention. It's not something that actively involves them in the story. A person who tells a story provides you with a very passive reading experience and a passive viewing experience if you're watching television or a movie. A teller is a person who just tells you basic details but doesn't really get you emotionally involved in the story or actively involved in the story. They'll say something like, Bob looked at Jane. And when you say something like, Bob looked at Jane, that's a really passive sentence. It's a real passive statement. It just gives you a basic overview of things, but it doesn't really get you involved. Now, showing is something that's a bit more active. When a person shows in a story, what they're doing is, they are creating pictures in your mind. And those pictures in your mind allow you to imagine something that's more vivid, more detail-oriented, and you're seeing a more clearer picture of the action going on. Now, you can make a sentence saying, Bob glanced at Jane and then scowled, and that's showing. That's a scene that gives you a picture of Bob looking at Jane and then having that scowl on his face. And it gives us a picture of, he looked at her, and then he had a reaction. It's showing us something going on in the story. And when you show people things, it, again, allows you to create that picture in your mind. And very good writers, what they want to do is, they don't want you to just be told a story. They want to bring you into a world so that you can have an experience. They want you to be actively engaged in the story and see everything going on in the story and see everything like it's a movie inside of your imagination. And really, really solid writers, what they want to do, again, is take you right into that world, drop you in the center of that world, and have you seeing everything going on around you and observing it and then coming up with your own observations and your own conclusions. This is one of the reasons why I use a more show approach. This is something I learned from screenwriting and creating your pictures in your mind. And one of the things that I do in the show approach is I try to use as few words as possible in a passage and I try to use things in dialogue to create the character's voice, the character's personality, and I want you to get immediately immersed in the story almost immediately. One of the techniques I learned from screenwriting was to try to get the reader involved in the story in the first 10 pages, and that's something I usually do with most of my ISIS series books or novels like Spinsterella or Spellbound. I try to get you into that environment almost immediately. I want to take you into a place so that you can see this character, you can be in that environment with them, and you can literally smell and taste what's going on in that world. I want you to go there and literally be in that place. That's what a person who shows you in a story. You're seeing all these vivid pictures, you're seeing all these images, and you and you feel like you're standing right there in the room with those characters. That's what a writer wants you to do. He wants you to be in that room, or she wants you to be in that room, with those characters in that environment, experiencing what they're experiencing, and feeling what they're feeling getting involved with their emotions, and seeing what's going on. One of the things that I try to do, like with a novel like Spellbound, is I wanted to take, like in the first chapter, I wanted to take you into that New York City public school, Park West High School, in 1989. I wanted you to be inside of that classroom and see what went on. I wanted you to really be in that room with Matilda and her classmates, and I wanted you to see and experience what she experienced and how she felt about what was going on in there. And that's what I want to do in a story when I'm showing. I want to bring you into that world, and I want you to literally have it like it's a movie 
going on inside of your mind because when you have a writer who shows you what's going on in a story it literally starts activating your imagination and you start drawing pictures inside of your head and in some cases you start imagining people coming to life and with every word that you read you start you start seeing more and more clearer picture of this person and you start hearing their voice and you start feeling the environment around you. You can literally sometimes even touch what's going on, taste the food that's in there, smell the scents in the air, and that all creates this vivid picture in your mind that comes so clear you feel like you're almost there, but you're actually just holding a book with some words in it. And that's what engage that's what makes showing far more active and far more engaging and it creates a far more compelling story for the reader because the reader wants that type of experience they want to come into the, they want to come into this experience of this book and literally see this book come to life in front of them they're just sitting there and they're, you might think they're just reading a story but to them they're inside of their own imagination and they're imagining this incredible world i mean when i write books uh, like the thetas i've had people come back to me and say that was just like a movie, or that they would read something like Spinsterella and they would tell me it's just like a movie. And the reason why they're saying it's just like a movie is because it's like they can imagine what's going on. And that's what you want to do if you're a writer who shows, because when you show, that's what you're doing. You're firing up your reader's imagination. Now, a writer who tells, what they're doing is it's just very passive. And when you're very passive, that's not something you want to do, especially in the opening chapters of a book a person who tells a story again that's a passive experience and all when you do when you have a passive reading experience anything can distract the reader and they're gonna put the book down and that's something you really don't want and if you do it in a movie and you have really passive images in a movie like I saw with the Infinity War trailer or the Black Panther trailer that person is going to have an incentive to go watch something else because that's more engaging to them and when you are writing and you are telling a story, you don't want to do that because you want that reader engaged from page one. And the faster you get them engaged, the faster they're going to finish the book. They're going to have incentive to keep reading all the way to the end. And that's what you want. And that's why a show style is far better than a tell style. Because if you have a tell in any form of media, it's going to lead to a point where the viewer's attention is going to be taken away from the screen or their attention is going to be taken away from the book and they're not going to finish and when they don't finish that's not good for you because you, everything that you laid out in that story is going to get lost because you didn't do things to keep the reader or the audience engaged and part of good storytelling is keeping that audience engaged and when you have a very strong visual style, that's going to keep the audience engaged because, again, they're going to see these pictures going on in their mind. They're going to imagine these characters coming to life. They're going to imagine these people coming to life. And they're going to feel as real as the people on the street around them. And because they feel real, they're going to want to finish the story. And in some cases, they're going to be so affected by that story that they're going to go tell their friends about that story, they're going to tell their family about that story, and you're going to build what they what is word of mouth that's going to lead to more people wanting to read your story and more people wanting to share your story. And those are all things that happen when you show instead of tell. When you show, you build, you build a world for people, and that world is the thing that engages them, that is the thing that gets their attention, that's the thing that keeps their attention, and that's the thing that really gets people actively imagining what's going on, and it gives them that reason to care. And the big thing about writing is you have to get the reader to care. If the reader doesn't care, the reader isn't going to finish the story. And, it, and when it comes down to stories that tell, the reader doesn't care enough to finish reading the story, but when you show, the reader cares enough to finish the story. And if they're watching a movie and you make them care, they, they care enough to finish watching the movie. So showing is far better than telling because showing allows the reader or the viewer to be more actively engaged, more emotionally engaged, and personally connected to what's going on 
Whereas if you tell, the audience is at the distance and they have no connection to what's going on. And if the audience is put at a distance, what they're going to do is they're going to walk away when something else engages their attention. And you don't want the audience to have something else engage their attention. You want your story to be the center of their attention. And you want it to resonate with them so that they want to come back and read more of your stories or watch whatever projects you put out there. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to try some of my SJS Direct titles like the Spinsterella Trilogy or the Isis series and see the difference between showing in a story versus telling in other books, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.